Any future that will not require a change from you will not be different from the past. You should be more aligned with Yes, indeed, if there's a man to pray, there's a God to answer. The answers come for you. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Psalm 84, it said, And they go from strength to strength that appear in Zion. So there is a transformation, there is a significant change that takes place in your life, whether you know it or not. Why? Because in the spiritual realm, and most especially in the spiritual atmosphere, words are spirit. John 6 and verse 63, Jesus said that the words I speak to you, they are spirit and they are what? Life. So as you stay under the sound of my voice over time, there is the dispensing of spirit in the inside of you and a component of the life I carry getting in the inside of you. Then you realize over time that you can now begin to do some of the things I do. You cannot talk like I talk. You cannot understand some things I understand. Because when the Bible says, and he breathed upon them, receive ye the Holy Ghost, what originally said, he gave them understanding and capacity. He enlarged their mind to go and receive that thing for 10 days. Because going there 10 days with a low capacity is a waste of time. Mm. Do you understand that? Because men in the kingdom only carry things based on Matthew 25 according to their several ability, not their zeal. Mm. So one of the things they must pay attention to is that they daily build capacity to collect more from God. Do we understand that? So as the word is coming to you, capacity is being enlarged in your spirit, preparing you. It's like a structure. The Bible says in Acts 20, 32, it's that of the word of God that is able to build you and then give you an inheritance of the saints. So inheritance is sits upon what? Structure. Mantles assume characters. Once the requisite character is there, the mantle comes naturally. Once you put a structure that contains or relates to a kind of spirit, that's what we call a shrine. That structure traps that spirit what naturally. Once there is a distortion of such a structure, then the spirit disappears. That's why God was telling Moses in Hebrew, he said, make sure that you build according to the pattern you saw on the mount. Because if you don't put that pattern in place, you can trap that same reality there down here. That's why when they established the tabernacle, they had 24 Levitical priests, who Zachariah in the New Testament happened to be one of them who minister at each hour of the day representing what? The 24 elders. That's why we know that the 24 elders, each of them is in charge of an hour of the day. Because Moses built those things he did according to the pattern. Do we understand? So something is changing. Something is happening to you. Are we following? I told you the problem with the body of Christ, why we can't comprehend what stays in the inside of us is because we don't understand the operations of the spirit. Okay, are we blessed? How to prophesy for two? I'm feeling fidgety to preach because Mama has done something hot here. Mama, no. So I'm looking for a rema by first to share. <laughs> you must be blessed with this. <laughs> I am struggling with the revelations. I'm looking such a lot more things inside of my spirit so I can do the word like this. Are we together? Please celebrate. <laughs> Every time, there's no me and no sound. The neighbor decided to not go to the shop. I told you, one of my son came here, one of the Sunday, and I gave him just a charge of five minutes. And he took me to eternity fast. We are in this city, I can't go to eternity fast. We are together. May the Lord increase the spirit of revelation in the Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. So that's why we come to church. So that we can stay red hot. You understand that you can still what bread of now the Bible says at one time that a man called Goliath, who happened to be one of the Anakites, all right, the sons of the Anakites. They had four brothers. One later I wanted to kill David because if you leave your demons, you are attacking the future when your strength is weak. You know, the problem with Solomon was that he was so wise. Wisdom is sponsored by strength. You can be wise to know the truth, to not carry the capacity and strength to carry out that truth. You know, you can.
and be wise enough to know that I am supposed to maybe lift up the speaker now for God. But at that point in time, your strength cannot carry you. So wisdom is not enough when there is no backing of what strength. That's why the Bible says, Thy failure in the day of adversity, your strength is. So he was at that point in time very strong. So that strength gave advantage to his wisdom. And what was the wisdom? Solomon knew that the best way to stay, when you see the Bible saying, verse 5 and 4, that I'm, I am able to build because God has given me rest on every side. Unlike my father, what? David. Because he had wars to fight what? all around. The strategy Solomon used, that's why you must trust God for wisdom. All right? It's not just you pray alone. As you pray, download counsels, blueprints. Proverbs 20 and verse 5 is a counsel, it's like a deep water in the inside of a man. But a man of understanding will fetch it out. Do you understand that? So when we pray, we are opening that spring to fetch out what counsel is. What counsel is not advice, it means strategy, blueprint. Do, do we understand that? So he was able to fetch the blueprint and knew that the best way to be at peace is to have a stake in the life of the enemy. Israel was surrounded by 700 provinces and 300 cities. So he decided to marry one wife for each of them. So don't copy someone if you don't know the reason. Mm. You are not surrounded by nothing. You remain who you are with one man. So he married one wife from that's why he had 1,700 wives and 300 wives and 700 concubines. He picked one one each from those cities. Will you come and attack your daughter if the wife there? So he was the in law of the his enemies. But the Bible says at a point in time when he became weak, the wife had the capacity to lead the same man who served God and God said, I love so to go to the gospel church. Because of what he did in the gospel church. Maybe possibly at that point in time, someone was so old enough when he was 90, he had even had one of the young girls that was just 18. And you know, she needed to once me a wife massage the body because of the little weakness here and there. And she said, If you don't follow me to this place today, your body will end like that. And someone started feeling pain. Is that what you need? Let's go so I can keep you in the evil defeat. Do we understand that? The Bible says that Goliath began to threaten Israel. Follow me this one. Are we following? Goliath began to threaten Israel. And for 40 days he was vexing the nation of Israel, insulting them, asking, Where is the God you say you serve? And no man. Four significant incidents to play there, which I'll share with you. Number one is that we have Goliath that was anti anointed. Anti anointed means he had not even do the anointing because he was totally an uncircumcised one. Number two, we had Saul who was ex anointed. Do you understand that? He was once anointed, a great man of war. A strong man, but now he's what ex anointed. Then we have the army of Israel who was what unanointed, no oil on their head, and that's why with an ex anointed plus an unanointed, you just be mocked by the devil. So, whether you are unanointed or you were formerly anointed, you are still equivalent before the devil, you are the same thing. But the Bible says, and there came a man who was what freshly anointed. Such that the anointing have the ability to impact him with wisdom to fight. I told you three things we need. Number one is the right resources, number two is the right word, strategy, and number two is, as I was saying, perfect time. All right. The right strategy there was that anointing, because it was freshly anointed. That's why you can't lack inspiration. Some of you think when we say you get anointed, so you still fall and break chairs. When you break the chairs, will they multiply? So it's not the falling that we are interested in, it's that we are doing something to your spirit. That can make you what a supernatural being on earth. That guy had an inspiration. How who taught David to win a fight like that? Their oil was functioning in the inside of him. So he came, and the first statement he made was down circumcised Philistine. Why he knew that by scripture, God said to Abraham, Circumcise your firstborn, for by this shall I be called. So he knew an uncircumcised man is in the head of the direction. So he had to remind God first that this is the first that was the wife that is going. Do, do we understand that? Yes. Number two, he called him a dog. Do you keep dogs with God? You just pick a little stone and trap them. 
Number three, remember the Bible says, I will give the children meat to dogs. So he reminded God that this guy has nothing to do with you. That's why we say he's anti anointed. He is not a child. He's a book. This is not a fight between brothers and brothers. This is a fight between kingdom and kingdoms. Do you understand that? Yes. What was functioning in the inside of him was the anointing. I'm making you understand when you come to service, the oil is released upon you by sprinkling words. It inspired your mind. You go into the new week, suddenly you have answers for every problem. Solution just comes out of you like rivers of water. Is the function of the anointing. If you stay unanointed or you stay ex-anointed, you will be assaulted by hell. The Bible says, and he picked five stone. Why? Because he knows grace is sufficient. Uh, only grace is sufficient. God said it himself. You don't need to mix it to something else. Oh, grace is sufficient. That's why even Jesus was smart enough. When the devil told him to put the stones to bread, what the devil was telling him was to carry love back to grace, mix it. He said, no, man shall not uh, Did you catch your Are we together? He said, the, the stone represents the law. Bread represents grace. He said, make the law to look like grace. He said, no, they don't look like that. Not because he could not. Do you understand the legalities and the technicalities of life and scriptures? Do you understand that? And the Bible says he threw that stone. If he throws something, we have what we call Newton's law of motion. Something will move in a particular direction towards the force. But you are throwing a man a stone. He should go backwards. <laughs> I Do you understand? Yes, sir. The man should go backwards. But what was happening? The guy is falling this way. As if the force is coming from what? Yeah. Should I explain to you? That's why in Zechariah, he told him that there is a mountain before you when you are building. What you need to shout is grace. It will collapse. That was what David took by the five stones. And brought that thing down. You know the force was coming from where? Are we together? Yes, sir. Friend of Holy Ghost. Shall we be full of the Ayatam? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, In Jesus' name we pray. So the Bible tells us, all right? The Bible tells us that there was the throne of the Lord. So the instruction 
given by God is that the ark must be bore upon the shoulders of all Levitical priests. That's why even the throne of God is protected by what? Four cherubims. Which the word cherubims means those that cover the glory. Their job is to, that's why even when he drove man out of the garden of Israel, where his glory was, he had to set what? A cherubim. They are the protectors and defenders of the glory. They call them the covering ones. So we had four cherubims there, right? In Jesus' name. Now the Bible says, and that act must be bore upon the shoulder of what? Four Levitical priests. Do we understand that? I pray you can get to that. I'm making you know how a man can house the now, when the four Levitical priests, right, signifying the four cherubim, which the devil was one of them, that's why he was called the anointed cherub. I will prove to you later, you'll see from scripture that he was one of the four living creatures. Who that the Bible said they had four face, faces. One signifying the, what? The face of man, the face of an ox, and the face of a lion, and the face of an eagle. That was who he was. The anointed cherub, he was the chief in charge of the four living creatures. That's what the Bible says. He went to and fro the mountain. Do, do, do we understand what I'm saying? Yes. And the Bible says, and it must be born on the shoulder of all the people. Do you know the weight of that? Do you know just, I think, I, I don't have my perfect figure now, but the least I know is 40. 40 gigantic rams were, were joined together and pushed to penetrate the holies of holies with blood here in Do your research. That's what just one cut inside the ark. And we are saying a man carries the ark. And the priest goes without feeling that they are carrying the ark. Why? Once it comes upon a man, it displaces it. That's one. Two, the ark begins to control the direction of such a man. Let me explain to you. And the capacitor. That's why I can sit here now. You look at me, we are just walking like this and we are going. Suddenly, we get to a service and we are still talking and gisting. And two minutes now, they give me the mic to hold. And suddenly, I make a statement, and you see a man cannot stand on his feet. What I can is electricity. But when it comes upon an act, it displaces it. That is what I release on you. You can stand. I can do this. Mm. Only small, small. I just say, the virtues will come out small. And touch and come back. <laughs> Three hours now, there's a struggle with you. Now, we broke like five chairs already.
Bible, right? The way you have a picture of the devil by all these cartoons as a frightened image is not true. The devil is a fallen angel. The angel is fallen was still an angel, as beautiful as it was. Because I told you that God cannot withdraw. That's why God did not collect the power. Because if he collects the power he gave the devil, the devil will cease to exist. And that makes him not a God. Alright? But a controller. But he must, to assume the position of God is that he must give people the free will to choose you or not. That's why he had to plant a garden in Eden. If not, if he makes everything natural, so that man has no choice, then he forced them to be to worship him. So they are robots, not, not subjects. Because subjects must decide to choose you. So he had to put a garden. So that a man can decide to choose to either eat that fruit or not. I did not ask the question. I said, should they in one time or the other eat that fruit? Because we later now saw in Hebrews. Is it Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16 there about? He said, and those who have true use have been able to exercise their senses to distinguish between good and evil. But why was it a problem in Genesis when the 8th of 15 like that? And he's telling us that people that will come matured in God must operate that way. They can distinguish between good and evil. The problem there is this. The Bible says God created man in his image and after his likeness. The word after means I am first in his image. When his likeness becomes a process, but he truncated it. Why the Holy Ghost was not yet released? Because it's the Holy Ghost that should be the discerning force between the good and the evil, not by your mother says. So man truncated because he was supposed to continue after. Was dead, and the devil observing this truncated the system. Are we following? I'm still talking about those who can carry tangible experience. So it simply means if the presence should be bore by the, the shoulders of four levitical priests, and as I told you, that research has it that when they carry them up, they become a priest. If they don't feel like it, it's not We saw in the real um, tabernacle um, in heaven how that the glory or the throne of God is guarded by four priests. So, what does it mean to carry his presence? Kings. 
But he truncated that prophetic bloodline because of greed. Are we together? And even in Was advising him, be content. But you let me know here. Because when greed has taken the hold of you, don't reason again. Are we together? And he said to him, He said, Fear not, for they that be with us are better. And the Bible says, And he prayed that God should open his eyes. So it means that every man has a prophetic eyes. The difference is either whether it is closed or open. He didn't say, God, give him sight. That's why even in Genesis, I think 22 there about, the Bible says, and that Agar took the child and got to a point where she was founded of water and cried and left the child there. Because two things are involved. God will have never heard a cry. Listen to the story of the statement of God. He said, I heard the cry of the child. Why would God not hear a cry? You can't find your scripture father and he answers your prayer. God doesn't break scripture. So she cries from heaven to heaven. He won't hear her. So she left the child. And when the child cried, the Bible says, and God heard. Now let me tell you something. You know, the Bible says he kept the child, she kept the child under his shore in the desert. And God heard. The Bible says, and God what opened her eyes as she saw away. Meaning, what God took her was to into the spiritual dimension to see him. He did not never say God created the world. The problem was her sight. And how should I prove to you that? That there was water in that same desert. Because for his shock to grow, it means there was a source of water from somewhere. Whether you can see it or not see it. The problem why you are struggling in me now is your sight. You can steal in the midst of that forest. Make it. Because what changes it is Isaiah 30, 32 and verse 15. Until the street is poured from one eye, then the wilderness can be comforted. It's a technology. Do, do we understand this? Yes. Friend, we this one. You don't need to understand it somehow. I'm jacking you to a height by force. So I'm climbing the ladder in the spirit. The world is building, adding building blocks to your life so that inheritance is can sit on them. In Jesus' name we pray. So, and the Bible says, and when the servant's eye was opened, Behold, he saw surrounding Elisha was a great army. Let's assume the list of them is a thousand. We know they will come in their legion form, which is, I think, 18,020 there about. Surrounding a man. Here was the answer. This is a man standing with his boss, and his eyes is open. Now he's not seeing great armies surrounding his boss. So in this mind, we can be close from the dimension of the spiritual. We are not in the same age. So the Bible says, and the kingdom of God, which signify what anywhere the concentration of his presence or all the kingdom of God represent can be felt. Why there is the kingdom of God, heaven. Heaven simply talks about the physical world location. So balance your revelation. Stop shouting and telling people heaven is not a location but a distance apart. <laughs> but the Bible tells us that there is the northern side of Mount Zion where God dwells. So where you get your own verse from? You copy them literally. You don't crown. And you went to your revelation. So the Bible tells us in Romans. That the kingdom of God is not in meat or drink, but in peace, righteousness, and joy in the Holy Ghost. So where the concentration of the Holy Spirit can be felt, there we say is the kingdom of God. But the kingdom of heaven is the physical world. In Jesus. So we now know. That the agency responsible because the Bible tells us in Numbers 14 that and the earth shall be covered with the glory of God as the water covers the sea. And then we know that the kingdom signifies the Father because that's where he stays. The power is the Son dimension. The Bible says and Jesus is sitting at the right hand of God, not the right hand side. And Habakkuk 3 and verse 4 tells us that and I saw a hand coming after God came out of Temer. And out of his hand were the brightness of light. And that was the hiding place of his power. So Jesus is sitting in the power dimension of God. That's why the Bible tells us in Psalm 110 that he said to him, Sit on my right hand till I make your enemy. And he told us in verse 2 that I will send for the rod of thy strength, which signify the Holy Ghost, out of Zion. And say, Rule thou in the midst. So the rod of his strength is in the side of us. Ruling thou in the midst of what? His enemies. Did, did you understand? Yes, sir. And then we said that the glory signifies what? The Holy Ghost. 
So if the earth will cover the the, 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 the glory will cover the world as the water covers the sea, it will simply means the influence of the Holy Ghost will be more felt. Do you understand? That's what I told you. Where Jesus lived, right, his existence on earth. And after he left up from Luke, we have what we have pieces sandwiched between the acts of what the apostles. Because a man can only claim a week when the testator is dead. Do you understand? That's why it came after it like that. Now, in the epistle, in the gospels, we see him being called Holy Spirit. But in the epistles, we see him being called what? Holy Ghost. Why? The Spirit cannot stay in an empty air. But when the spirit of a diseased man comes out of him and the man is dead, then we call it what his ghost. So when he was still alive, inside of him was the spirit. That's why in Luke 1 35, he said, What you shall carry is that holy thing because you'll be overshadowed by the power of the Holy Ghost. What we are just seeing will be a container that the Holy Ghost will sit inside and we will call him Jesus. It does not mean that is what he is. Do you understand that? Jesus? And then. <laughs> I, I, I wish ah. the capacity was larger enough so I can be distributing it. Because of that exploding. In Jesus' name. And then in the epistles, after he died, his ghost is what begins to appear because ghost can now be every place. So that's why they call him not the ghost. I'm taking the pain to explain his personality because the prophets will talk about the Bible says it is his gift. You must understand who gives this gift and who controls the gift. Have you not know, heard the Bible say that the spirit of the prophet is subject to you? What spirit is that? No. Do we understand? So that's the person of the Holy Ghost. So prophecy is one of his gifts. Alright? We have what we call the gift of prophecy. Acts chapter 21 and verse 9. The Bible tells us about Philip that had four daughters who did what? Prophesied. Then we have what we call the ministry of the prophetic. The ministry of the prophetic talks about everything the prophetic entails. That's why it is called a ministry. Because in the prophetic, we have different types of prophets. We have prophet by function, prophet by office, prophet by grace, prophet by everything. How do I know? The Bible calls Abraham a prophet, but he never prophesied. He was a prophet by function. Because he was to stand to be the father. How that through his seed the Christ will come. There are prophets, alright, by grace. An example of that is Daniel. He never coordinated a church service. But he was what? A prophet. Most of his encounter were personal. If he was not asked to go and talk to anybody. In fact, most of the time he begged to talk. He begins to pray that somebody should have a dream so he can manifest his gift. He said, please don't kill him, but I will, I will tell you. Because there was no way to prophet by faith. Then there are prophets by office. Those who sit in the office of what? A prophet. Like prophet God and prophet Nathan, who was a personal prophet to David. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, now, a prophet of office. You know, when we have a traditional ruler for Ibira land, they call him the Oinoi, right? There's what they give them. They give them what we call the staff of office. Significance of what? Authority. So, one operating the gift of prophecy might not carry an authority, but not the one in the office of a prophet. The office of a prophet simply means, you know, gift of prophecy is the operation of a gift. But an office simply means whatever that traditional ruler say is law. So that man does not need to see to prophesy. He can talk, then God confirms it. He forms them. By this time tomorrow, receive ten favors. Not because I heard it. Because I heard it. And then he confirmed the word of his servant and the updates of his messages. Where a man is taking a hold of God and called into what an office. Just like Jesus was called into the office of what? The Christ, which was what the devil was actually after. That's why in the New Testament, in the gospel, he was called Jesus Christ. Meaning Jesus, the anointed one, who will still sit in the office of the Christ. But from Acts downwards, he was now called Christ, Christ Jesus. Jesus. It's not a mistake. Yes. It now means this is the one sitting in the office of the Christ that was formerly Jesus. That's why when he was Jesus Christ, his mother gave him a name. 
But when he was Christ Jesus, God gave him the same name again, but with different authority. <laughs> he was bearing Jesus. Now they are telling us that, and he was giving a name that at the mention of it now, he must begin to bow. So you see, Buari was in Kaduna before, mm. roaming the street like every normal Nigerian. Yeah. But now he is a president, right? Yes. And he's now different from what he was before. His name has not changed. He's still Buari Muhammad. What is added to that name now is authority, office. What is giving that name power is what? Office. He is now sitting what? In an office. Outside an office. It's a normal name. Yes. Uh, my boy that is turning my land outside and I explain more money. So the Bible tells us, all right, about the streams of the prophetic. How do we know the streams of the prophetic? The stream simply means rivers that can be in a sphere and a man can swim into it. For instance, one of it is music. I first Samuel chapter 10. And the Bible says, the prophet Samuel told Saul that there is a way the prophetic operates, not because you are a prophet, but if you go to the prophetic, and you see them in sunk atmosphere. That's a river there. When you enter, you will swim too. Because one thing about the flood is that it loses your control. It now controls you. Yes. 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 Do you understand that? How do I know again? Another stream of the prophetic is ecstasy of joy. Look at what happened when Elizabeth saw Mary. He said, oh, I'm my soul live for joy. Suddenly she started prophesying. And he shall take sins from the world. And told her. Anna was happy. Thank you for the son you have given to me. Lord, I'm grateful, oh Jesus. So much of joy. Suddenly, she was in that stream. How do I know? She started prophesying. You make some great and you make some small. You is a stream. Do you understand that? Not because she's a word prophet. But she got into a stream. There is the spirit of the prophecy. The spirit of the prophecy is an atmospheric, charged atmosphere of prophecy. When you come to an atmosphere, sometimes I do that in those early days in service. I release that charge in the atmosphere. And you see people giving what of knowledge when they are not prophets. Because of that, after that time, they won't do it again. If they try it, it's lie, it's heresy from here and say, <laughs> word by knowledge, not word of knowledge. Mm. Ah. So your name is Richie. Richie, not I know. <laughs> That's word by knowledge. Not what word of knowledge. The off has to be of God. Man of God. What is born of God? There's no off in life. Do you understand that? Yes. That's the four encompasses of the prophetic. Give me Romans 12 and verse 8. I want to tell us about the motivational gifts. Through the motivational gifts, you will pipe into what? The revelational gifts. The motivational gifts are windows and pillars through which a man opens what? The revelational gifts. Romans 12. Are we getting this? Do we love the word? Yes. The Bible says from verse 6, Romans 12 and from verse 6. He said, rather than the gift differing according to the grace that is given to us, let us use them. If prophecy, let us prophesy in proportion to our faith. That is no good. They do pass yourself. You must start to the land. You see, your father have look at the You see, you now convert it to add more light. So that means that you can also have a Now God did it one as God can for him. Something was ministering the spirit. The Bible suddenly shakes himself when the spirit comes on him. And it is this. But when the spirit left, what was it doing? But he was grinding corn. They say, Come and make spots for been dancing. That's what I used to dance. That's why the first thing he thought was his sight. Because sight gives power to your strength. That's why one of the people you should respect are men of God, not even soldiers. They are fighting till they can't sleep. As soon as I see somebody and back the people through life was teaching me. I'm telling an altar that I don't even know where it's coming from. Yeah. But I speak to them and they answer. Yeah. The Bible says in verse 7, our ministry. Let us use it in our ministry. He who teaches in teaching. He who exhorts. That's what's it. In exhortation. And he calls this thing a ministry. He who gives with liberality, and he who leads with diligence, he who shows mercy with cheerfulness, cheerfulness, cheerfulness. So it simply means 
Was I operating mercy and love? And suddenly God sees that he puts me in positions of what? Leadership. And there are certain kind of grace that comes to that position of leadership. If I manage it well, I will get into levels of what? Teachings and exhortations. And as I do that, I will bump into prophecy. Little do we now know why he told us, let me show you a more excellent way. And decide to put it there. I will get there. If I carry backwards like this, I need to this. So the Bible says, and he that prophesied does three things. He edifies, he exhorts, and he what? Comforts. Those are the three pillars of prophecy. To edify simply means what? To build up one's faith or spirit. Edifying them. Right? To exhort means to in impact towards courage or encourage someone, right? To comfort me simply means what? To give hope or what? Succor. Uh, have you not remembered that the Bible tells us in John chapter 14 and verse 16, and that the Holy Ghost when it comes, when you operate his ministry, he comes himself. Do you understand? That's why he told her to be variety, your helper. When you are that ministry, he calls himself and gives you his gift as well. Your Paracletus, 1 Thessalonians 5 and verse 11, he said, encourage one another in the church. Paul keep talking about that. Most of the times he writes his sermons, he says, I want to exhort you. I want to exhort you. I want to exhort you. And you see the kind of dimensions he played with that even Peter said the writings of Paul are difficult to understand because he didn't know that by the motivational gift he has bumped into revelatory gift. Mm. Operating in realms, he said, I went up abundance of revelation. Do you understand that? So you must train yourself. Our job is to teach you and train you. How do I prophesy? So if I start by exhortation, 1 Corinthians and chapter 14, if I start by edifying, if I start by comforting, then I will get to a point where the revelatory realm opens for me that I'll begin to see the secrets of the heart of men that will cause them, the Bible says, they will bow before us, not God, and say God is in the midst of you. That's why I started by saying you prophesy to edify, to exhort and comfort. Then we get to subsequent verses. He said, then you will reveal the secrets of God. Exhort one another. Meaning is something you should make the choice to do. Because it's something you should give me. I want you to shake me. So I shake me very well. I'll exhort. You mean there? You be lying that you are prophesying. You will be lying. Like Tell me lies. There is a way to open the key, the door. No matter how hard it is. It's just for you to have the right key. It doesn't mean the key must be complex. Once it means the right key, it will open that door. Is the code I'm giving you. To be honest, the Bible says in Luke chapter 23, verse 43 to 44. Let's start with Matthew chapter 4, verse 11. The Bible says, and after Jesus succeeded his temptation, the Bible says, angels came to what? Minister to him. Angels came to what? Minister to him. The question is, what kind of then we get to Luke 22, 43 to 44. The Bible says, and angels were there ministering and strengthening him. Verse 44. Then he prayed more. They were stirring up and it was impacting him. The spirit of prayer. So that the Bible says his sweat now became blessed with it. Are we together? Light to my feet, it is light to my feet, and lamp to my path. Simply put, it gives me direction. It gives me direction. And if I have direction, I will have speed. And if I have direction, yes. Look 22, mm. verse 43. 
Then an angel appeared to him from heaven, strengthening him and being in agony. He prayed more earnestly. Why was he not praying like that before? There was a source of strength saying, don't worry, you will prevail. This cross, you can make it, you can carry it. That's why he told Peter. He said the devil attempt to sift you as wheat, but there is a mystery where you are strengthen, strengthening your brethren. Learn to do it. This is how it is done. That's why one of the things you must be careful of is how you talk. I warned us last week. The Bible says, let your words be seasoned with grace, that it will become blessing to the hearers, not cause, not pain. You are a human being, not a human beast. Behave like a human being. Watch how you talk. What you say. Because you are putting demonic realm over people. Have you not seen children who got into the spirit of rejection because of how much they were emotional when they were growing up that they feel rejected? And today they are battling it. Are you not seeing people who got into the spirit of inferiority complex because they were growing up and had this emotion that everybody looks down there and they are bite, biting that spirit, battling with that spirit today? Some of you think you are men of God. You are doing remote job for Satan. Remote job. Free, free, freelancer. You are opening demonic realms over people. Because the devil knows that by such kind of words, you open his realm. That's why the angel appeared to Paul in Acts 27 and said, Cheer up. Cheer up, sir. Be encouraged. The Lord said, You will reach your destination. And they think you will have to The fearful report became strong. The Bible said, said to me, Men and brethren, the angel of the Lord, whose I am and whom I serve, appeared to me and said, This ship will not collapse. And I believe his word that it shall be to me according as he has spoken. Yes, because he came with strength. It was an innocent statement, but look at what he did to a man. Watch your words. I'm rounding up this part of the prophetic. Let's say I will talk and get into something more deeper. But I want us to lay this foundation very well. Because else, that's why some of you, the only thing you see is evil, evil, which can which you are swimming here. I say attack, attack, Abba. <laughs> are we together? Why? You've never seen anything only. Uh-uh. You are doing the mojo. Go ahead. <laughs> By those words, you are opening the man friend. Because I see motivational gifts, whether in the negative or the positive. Opens up what the revelation is. Suddenly that statement you made was what gave that sister to depression. Now she got from depression to suicide. Statement. You are now wondering, just one talk, I talk like that, just one. No, what you didn't know was that those things open brain. You know, these were the things you did very early in life. That's why I can't be prophetic. I didn't just tweet out of my something. You saw it of them. It's not assumption. You saw it. You saw why? This is how we started. This was the pillar to which we, we got it. People come to us. We don't need to say, I'm forcing it. I want to hear. For, for, tell me about our family. No. I said, don't worry. Because he said, I should say to you, I trust God. I said, don't worry. 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 Hello, my son Joseph. Say to him, you never profess in your life. If you, if you think that's how it works, tell him to do it. It doesn't matter what you are going through. In fact, I am seeing right now as a person, as a thought self. So I go to the service and I go to supernatural imposition. Then the Bible will tell that. Do you know what you Everything is going to be the same as then I begin to make it as I'm getting them. So I know I have to last soon number found then I tell the guy. But I said, I'm getting something. And you think it's easy, try it. Uh, so is this cheap? Try it. Don't look at your neighbor and say a word. Not yet a word. You have yes. <laughs> Are we together? Yes. <laughs> Are we following? Yes, sir. Learn what you want. Is that okay? Sometimes 
All someone needs is for you to pat them at the back and say it is well. Everything will be fine. spirit and life. I told you how that even in the physical you don't have the spirit healing anointing but you are strong in health. I give you a trick. Yes, sir. You are strong in health. You can look at somebody that is sick and say I release health to you because you have it. Yes, sir. Peter said you are good I have not. What I have do you have? You have health. Give him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> how comes a Muslim man will bless his child and that law will work?
imagine a man going to the grave of a man and he's crying. You mean God cried? And you say, don't cry, don't cry. The girl will laugh at you, you cry. Are we together? Pastor, we have people tell you their condition, that tears is enough to heal them. You are hearing their situation and you are meaning, you mean somebody is going through this and they need this their life. You're, you don't know when it is coming out of you. I've had people sitting there and they are talking to me, I'm crying. The thing is coming out. That's pain. I say, God, change this situation. And they come back with a testimony. Because the wings has been available for the Holy Spirit to fly. He said, let me show you a more excellent operating force. Are we following? Love is not what you give, it is who you are. That's why God does not have love. He is not love. You say, God is love, so you are love. When you still say, everywhere I go to, I will show love. You are a baby. You are love. It's an outflow of your spirit. He said it is shed in our heart, not in our thoughts. We think it out. Go and do love today. Mm -hmm. Then you're a mechanical Christian. Choose. And we together. He said, let me show you a more what? Excellent way. When I follow you like that, chapter 12 said the first rule is what? Desire this thing. Then we move to 13. He said, the next excellent thing you need to do is to operate what? So the next key that will unlock those three prophetic pillars of edification, exhortation, and comfort is to pray. Watch! 
Mature. You understand the rest. Make up your mind. In fact, the next time you use a wrong word on anyone, look up to heaven and say, Father, forgive me. Forgive me for opening a demonic realm over this young man. They go and, go and start operating in self pity, and that's how they from there. Ba, 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 ba. On your account, when you are done with that nonsense, you come to church. Some you need to you. Give me chance. After you have kept someone in pain, on your account, someone is hating Jesus and will never come to church because of the way this sister talks.
But now he says for his angels, he has only one spirit. The Bible says in Job that if God withdraw his spirit from man, who he would exist. So if he had withdrew his spirit, that means to be in the battle. Because he doesn't have to be that. So that he can actually serve what? Because if you collect the bread, who will not be punished? You understand? Yes, sir. Who will be Let's go. Paradox is the cat, 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 the the Greek word for mouth means stoma, S-T-O-M-A. The word stoma means the edge of a weapon. The edge of what? A weapon. Let's Are we there? Yes, sir. We love the book of James. He said, Plus one, my brethren, let not many of you become teachers. Knowing that we shall receive stricter judgment. See it? He said, I was saved. If they will not take it, they should not take it. Jesus. That devil teaches us now. Nobody gave me that assignment. You're not in a form of his now. For himself. He's not among any of the gift or spiritual office we saw. Look at the way even Jesus addressed wrong devils. What's your own difference? You saw your woman possessed of seven devils. And she became a sweet allowed her to use her head to touch his body. You just because you know that that sister used to sleep with brothers now. When you go to the department now, and she's kind to me, how oh, brother Joseph? <laughs> <laughs> After you finish that, someone is eh, eh, thank you. I want to invite you. Our trust is great friend. We're having service. Show me that. We are shutting the kingdom of God against men. We are acting like the gates of hell because men are gates. And I told you how. The Bible says in John 1 51, and that Jesus said to Nathaniel, You have not even seen anything yet. Wait till you see angels ascending and what? Descending. He was talking about himself. And we know that in Genesis 32, the Bible says, And Jacob had a dream, and a ladder was set, and he saw angels ascending and descending, and he called it the gate of heaven. So men are gates. Jesus was trying to say, What you saw there was me. That's why when the Bible says the gates of hell shall not prevail, it doesn't mean hell has gates, gates that will come at me. It's human beings, agents. Second yes, Thessalonians 3, verse 2, Paul calls them unreasonable men. Say, pray for us that the word of God will find a free course and deliver us from unreasonable men who don't love the gospel. Unreasonable men. So you are a gate. Through you, men can access heaven. Have you not read in the Bible in Romans 10 where he said how beautiful are the feet of those that come with the gospel? How beautiful are their feet? When you appear, heaven has appeared. He said when you go, you didn't hear his instruction? Luke chapter 10, 9. He said when you go, heal the sick and say to them, the kingdom of heaven has come. You don't, see, I think you need to know you are a spirit. The kingdom of heaven. People sit in front of me, sharing their pain and predicament. And I say, you have come to the last post. Solution. Have to open that well of the prophetic face. Exhort and edify them. Because the Bible says that if a man's spirit is intact, he can be made whole. In Proverbs, he said, but the anguish of the spirit dryeth the bones. That's why when you go to pray for somebody that is sick, and they say, Oh, just they go. That person is dead. Mm -hmm. The only work you can do there is not to pray for healing. That person cannot receive the healing. Mm -hmm. Read Proverbs. You say the spirit, if the thing is injured, there's nothing you can do. What you should be working on first is what? The spirit. Have you not rest with Google's what? 
how he will pick the Bible and give it to them and say, read the scriptures. And they will read, by his stripes we are healed. He shows them another one again. He shows them another one again. And once the spirit is alive, he says, be healed. And he gets one. Because you are not proficient in the dispensing and the releasing of kingdom realities. You thought everything is to pray. So you work on the spirit first. You work on the spirit. And then together. Are we blessed? I'm sure we are blessed. You know, Mama left it here hot. So I had to pray for today. It has to be ordered. Is that okay? Yes, sir. I'm saying, student can only be better than his teacher. <laughs> <laughs> the teacher has to prove himself. Yes, sir. That this thing we are proficient in this matter. Yeah. Yeah. Are, are we together this year? Yes, are we getting blessed? Come on, come on. This is what's changing us. Are we becoming better by his words? Yes, Through you, men assess heaven. He says, say to them, the kingdom of the Bible says, and if I by the finger of God cast out the devils. That's why I say the easiest way to tell you this way to get out of the is to point your finger to the devil's face. Out. Because if I by that finger, it means if I point my finger in the physical, in the spiritual, he's the one pointing his finger. Oh. How do I know? What does he call us? The body of Christ. Hmm. <laughs> That's why you can see a man. Telling people in the healing line to line up, and he's saying, What's it? In mindset. I'm just doing it for you. Ah, so you don't say nothing for you. Mm. Mm. You need to be fast. Let the other two go now. I have to tell you finish before the team finish. Let me finish. That's how it is. I'm saying nothing. Mm. Have you not heard people saying, Look into my eyes? Through that eyes, he says. So, when I want you to have a direct access to him, I want you to look into my eyes and let him see you. Ah, have you not read in the Bible where he said that you shall be held? Ah, 
produce what? Results from today. Produce results. Don't be like that, damn it. Switch up, I'm not come back. Produce results from today. Don't be off on two counts. Matthew 22 29. Say you are You don't know how it works. That's why you are off. Are we together? Are we together? And Elijah took salt. And went to the street. After the other information. What was that information? That they say they look goodly outside. But inside the men are dying. When soup no sweet. You want me to get taste? Which you they put? They look for the closest prophetic representation. Because you want the price of and the kindness of the That is the intention of the Because physical representation helps you to tap spiritual reality faster than you. Because we pour the water. After that, it was water. Not was not water, but it's meant that they say it was water. That's the first of the apple of the eye. And what is a fruit means? Fruitfulness. And the woman is looking for the fruit of the womb. So I had it and I blessed it. Because of those who used to get pears, but such as can carry them. Did you make over seven? Yes, sir. See, there is no nation that has to have those who used to get them. For what great nation is there that has God so near to it as the Lord our God is to us? Mm. For whatever reason we may call upon his name. God is on anything what we call his name. What is born of God? A man of God. Because they've called his name upon that name. They did not call that man for that day. A man of God. And he wants to change men like in scriptures. See, there's no prophet to come and do that one and call them and pour them on their head. He changes their name and say, I'm like, not saying that. He gave him the heart of the children. Mm-hmm. And gave Abraham the Ayam of himself and said, No, Abraham is Abraham. From our same father to father of nations. Yes, then he calls the prophet and gave them what Jeremiah are. Ah. Isaiah. Mm-hmm. Then the other name of Elohim, he gave them Joel. He will stand here and say, It's only E. Yes, Yes, Are we together? I lose. Are we following? <laughs> so you found out that all the prophet he breathes his name on them. Yes, sir. But for you, you can call it. Mm. I don't need to change your name from Dari. I just call his name upon your name. So uh. by imposing that name on your name. Mm. Without your name physically changing. Mm-hmm. Did he change Jesus? Mm-hmm. But he was given a name. Yes, mm-hmm. That is above every other name. That the name ah. Jesus. Now they carry that one and added it on the former one. Ah. Mm-hmm. So we can call his name. Without He's our God. Right? We can call his name upon what? Anything. That's why they can take the from Paul say I think the power they take it from Satan. They can call his name upon it. But you see, it works with what? Your mind. Yes, your mind is the eternity doorway. Your mind. Your mind. You have knowledge, but the next issue is your mind. Before you just did the Lord bless you, what I say I should take. Now, even those church used to love them. This is my whole church, I give them. Now, they are feeling very dramatic. Yes, sir. Your, your member now says, I have to do it. This is 80 and 90. I'm trying to tell you this is where this is where. This is your prophetic three pillars. I'm not going to tell you this is they scare me, I'm going home. Yeah. Are we together? Yes, yes sir. Why? Do you speak to the Lord? I tried it in one service. I said, no, I did it. Yes, sir. This one is the next thing I have in our team. Yes, sir. Because we look for physical representations to trap prophetic realities. And Jesus said, I want to give them life. But what's the closest thing I should use? There was no Zobo to use my hand. This Zobo said, I read the one. Uh, yeah. uh, the only thing he could see is what? Water. Then he called his name upon this. Upon the name of Jesus. He called his name upon the water and he took it to them. He took it to them. He took it to them. Are we following? You are the 
gate of heaven. That's what I'm saying in your history. You don't know what spirit. You don't know what spirit you have. You don't know what spirit you have. Some of you think, see, when you are supposed to look inward, you are looking for the external. The Bible says, and Jesus, Mark chapter 5, said to them, let us go to the other side. That's the last thing I should touch today. He said, let us go to the other side. You don't know something that happened to you? The words I speak are not statements. They are spirits. That's why he never laid hands on them. But after a while, they could call down fire. Who told them? He said, Master, they are telling us, should we call down fire? Who told them they can now call down fire? Because his ways were what? Spirits and life was spirit. And the Bible says, and they said, I'll say that last thing to you. Are we learning anything? Yes. Yes. I'm making you produce results. You don't be a useless child in God. You have to understand it. The Bible says that as they journeyed to the other side, there came a boisterous what wind about to stop them, such that the water got into the boat, but Jesus was sleeping. And the Bible says, when he woke up, he told them, Why are you fearful men of little faith? I wish I could see the pain on him. And what did he say? Peace. It was not a statement. He brought it out of him. Mm. How do I know? He said, when you go to preach in a place, knock at the door. If they receive you, he brings your peace. It is you. It's not. <laughs> Christian cliche. Say, oh Lord, we pray for peace. Mm. I lose my peace. Mm. No, but you can do that if you have peace at home. Mm. But you can't release trouble. Mm. When you are troubled in your heart. As I say, in the natural, you can do not have peace. Mm. You are healthy. <laughs> That's what will happen from today. I pray for people. But once there is no matter, it won't produce results. I'd like to say E is equal to MC squared. It's a failure. So you see, and he told Moses, stretch out your hands and divide it. So Moses did not just look at the rest and say, Oh, you see, divide. He literally what? Stretch out his hand. And like a prophetic, I show that you are. So when we say, pull down altars, we tell you to pray. I will say, Altar, pull down. You are, you are doing it. You thought you are wasting your time. Have you not had meetings with tell people, clap as you are praying? Yes, and yes, 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 I said they are, they are eating sound. You now, you, you, you now. You are the one that went to sleep. That tell me that you I said I am playing drum. They were playing drum now. You are done dancing. Yeah. 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 Now I say clap. You are only people because of that yes, case. No. Something you have deaf that strong man and strong man in your family. Defa. No person they hear the for sure. Defa. Yes, 
you, you are seeing so the thing now is just for you to know to you can produce this miracle. Yes. Yes. I told you that the Bible said, listen, the Bible said that Jesus met in time now. And he took dust to get blood. Right? And spoke something to it. Let's say his sight. The sight simply means there, but he threatened the issue. When the Bible says he came to the river and sight, it means the original people means that he threatened death. Come on, you know who they are. So when he took the mother of the earth, remember the Bible said, I'm going to come to the Lord so that I'm from something, right? Uh, and he went to the Lord and came to the Lord. So Jesus took the Lord. And I said, your eyes went from what? Water. He said, go to the Lord. Yeah. Let a new eye be formed. Because the one that is caused by a demon, when we cast the demon out, it will open. But the one that is totally bad by biological issue, we form the new one. <laughs> so trace for those, he said, be you, they were with one issue. Mm. Trace for the one that was that's why that one was so bad. Because many prophets in that land have been casting in the demon, 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 and the guy was going. So people could never believe that this thing can happen. They don't believe we don't know the problem. So they don't believe us so much. You know, they don't believe us so much. Oh, you death feeling is your stage. Uh, yes, yeah, the uh, <laughs> you, you, you are not doing me, mechanical Christianity uh, with, with lack of gymnastics, lack of knowledge, just jumping uh, everywhere. You finish now, you are sweating. You are soaked. You are soaked. Even the chef now. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I like that. You now end it now after five hours with Lord, let me win. Uh, <laughs> because you don't have knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> Lift up our hands. Son. I. Thank you are blessed by the world this morning. And you know you didn't waste your time. Bless you. Bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Joshua 24. Show you scripture. So that some of you know. We did some yesterday. We had personal deliverances, right? Ah, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I saw what happened here. Joshua. Bake to Sadi Kash Kamili Kayo. When you hear that, so you can kill his mother. I lost my mind. If I pick your picture and talk to it, you'll hear me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So why the guy don't call you was a keeper? I don't even know what they do to him that's how he so cut his car, he wants his car back. I was saying all kind of nonsense. Service. You have to do. Ah, It is just God. See this one was. This one, you know they can treat I thought you so. Just try it. What do you do?
Joshua 24. Are we there? From verse 26. The Bible says, Then Joshua wrote these words in the book of the Lord of God, and he took a large stone and set it up there under the ark that was by the sanctuary of the Lord 27. And Joshua said to all the people, Behold, this stone shall be witness to us, for it has heard all the words of the Lord which he spoke to us. It shall therefore be a witness to you, lest you deny him. So what Joshua was saying was that the day you deny, one stone will hit your head. Hit your head. So it means I can go out there now and pick a stone if I know I am truly what? Full of the Holy Ghost. And say stone. Any woman or man manipulating things in my family, I am sending you. And I will carry this stone. And we throw it now outside here. But the problem is because she saw me it's dead. He didn't know it as well. Because you saw it fell now, you didn't know it has gone. Please, are we seeing that? Yes, are, we are, 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 are we together? Yes, I'm not here. the Holy Ghost. Listen, listen, listen. I have taught you to produce miracles. I have taught you to produce results. You shouldn't be stranded. Carry perfume, look at it. When I want to enter into a case, I go Chinese. <laughs> Then I carry, as the Lord, I turn this to a spiritual mystery. As I spread this, maybe the scent of favor upon my life. What's our code again? A spiritual man. He knows what. Joseph, can you enjoy favor from today? Yes, sir. Because you know what to do. You heard the young lady that said how she took in standing space for her mother and was pouring that in there mm. and the team jumped. Mm. Mm. She mm. couldn't It was not fake. It yes, was not forming by faith. It was not a fake testimony. Mm. It has happened. Yes, the commercial also says that she is perfect. truly perfectly fine. Truly perfectly fine. Are we together? Yes, sir. We are just trying to do it. Exactly. The Bible says, and this is said, that she may have received the top of the top. If truly it is me as a, as a high priest, maybe among the others, we don't need a space. But if you want to claim this thing, <laughs> let the ground open. He said, and he said to God, Oh God, he spoke to me now to me. So I can fix that.
it and spoke to it accordingly. So, 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 so. Understanding now. It's in the world. That's why I'm watching you, man. You need that man. So you understand what you are doing. See, that tree, just the go, just the drop, because the Baba do something. You too, you know if you do. You do hate Baba. Baba do online. Now, now say the drag is next page now. Now, they have a small small voice. I'm playing small small voice. They come for a spiritual problem. Some they are doing lie and because you don't get power, if you do miracles, because some people they are doing adult speed. Do you have to carry like a lot of you have parents that they sold this for their everything? They bought it and they call it quail egg. That's a yeah, most yeah, special. Yeah, yeah. I think somebody tells you, say this book for this book, you give me how much you like. Are we following? Like, you know how it is. Yes, sir. But they don't see what they say. They said this thing used to die. They don't buy. One of my daughter was selling perfume. She does perfume business. So she said that every time she says so, this will be answered. And I don't come back and want to do favor. She said she didn't know. Hey! Now we teach us the talk. Say the children of this world and their generations. Why is that? They carry one. Say it's five hundred k. This one. Yes, because her heart agrees with it. Yes. Yes. Not because there's anything no, that way. Should I show you? I'll give you an example. Mm. How about this one? That's why I want to the first thing to go to your house is to give you something. You just pray like that. They don't have, they don't have water away. They, they don't believe it. But once you bless her and give her the holy like this, see, it's going down. Mm. One time, one of my friends was saying, this one I respect. Had a prayer, a healing school, he called like him in the Bible. So men come there to pray. A man came from Namibia, almost a 16 hours of surgery. And he was ministering to them one by one. He said, You have so much of power. I said, This last thing. Is that okay? Are you blessed? And while he laid his hands on him, he like, fell down under the anointing. And he left. I went to tell, while he was still ministering to others, I went to tell one of his pastors. Does this man touch you? Waste your time. It has never been here. The man that prayed for one, she came pregnant and came back after three months. Expecting that this an eternity rent should produce zero with time rent. Yeah, uh, you don't understand. Yeah. The overshadowing power of the land. Ah. You now understand how that you can give a woman a child. The child is inside here, she has not left her husband. And this is 
and child. How is now showing that it's fine? My papa and mama did not like that. Stop it. It was in a court in our home. It's not just that they are not He said, I have gone through life extremely strong educational wise. Understand what he <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He said, I've never heard that. He said, I've what? That, that man was using that thing and it was okay for him. Things could not attack him because of faith in that thing. Not because the thing had power, but the faith he had. Results. Amen. Your life will begin to produce answers. Amen. You will look at situations and speak over them and see heaven respond to you. Amen. You will speak to mountains and see them skip. Amen. You will speak to devils and see them give way. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Pray the Holy Ghost and say, Lord. We didn't even finish our, 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 our book. Rise up to your feet. Let's pray that one prayer. Let's pray that one prayer. James chapter 3. Let's finish it up. We diverted a little bit. You want to watch the word? You speak. Because your word carries what? Life. That's why you don't speak anyhow to people. Because there's no power in what you say. Do we understand that? So James chapter 3. My brethren, let not many of you become teachers, knowing that we shall receive a stricter judgment. For we all stumble in many things. If anyone does not stumble in the way he does, he is a perfect man. Ah! If any man does not stumble in the way he does, he is a perfect man, able to bring you and continue his life. Mm. Verse 3. Indeed, we put bits in horses' mouth that they may obey us. And we in turn control their own body. But I thought men we should put the bits to be their pigs because we want them to be fast. When they feel pain, then they will come fast. We say they will come fast. Look also at sheep. You see, the way I'm teaching this Sunday, this morning, that's how James, you see me talking. You see, you see these things now. It was there or the way. Even the natural thing will follow like that. You are not just the one paying attention. Oh, you don't know. Look at sheep. Although they are so large and are driven by first wind, they are torn by a very small wherever the pilot is designed. I mean, they are It's even smaller than that of the car. Five. Even so, the tongue is a little member and most great thing. See how great a forest, a little fire can set. And the tongue is a fire. A word of iniquity. The tongue is so set among our members that it can defy the whole body and set on fire the course of nature and is set on fire by heaven. For every kind of beast and bed of reptile and creature of sea is tamed and has been tamed by mankind. It is an unruly evil, full of what? Deadly He said, We are able to take this. Even like people are able to take this is the tongue. No man can tame. He didn't say nothing can tame it. It is the problem that the problem there is that men cannot tame it. But we know that in Acts chapter 2, that fire came and sat upon them as tongues of fire. Yeah. Arranging them, giving them utterance. As I said, they have utterance. Controlling first, adjusting how they talk. So it is no man that can tame it, but the Holy Ghost can. Yes. Can 
receive from today, Holy Spirit. Help me to speak right words. Help me to speak words that will bless men. Help me to speak words that will open the heavens over the lives of men. Help me to speak words that will cause men to encounter heaven through me. Congrats to prayer. <laughs> Parachute Thank you. 